Not gonna lie, I just did that TikTok challenge where you like have to jump and get in the boxes. That's a workout. I, I didn't mean to do time. that. Hey everybody, what's up? I'm pumped for this video. I actually did one like a long time ago that was what's in my basketball bag, but this one is what you need in your basketball bag. I'm just gonna bring you along with five simple things that I carried with me throughout high school and college that I think you need to survive, quite literally. Maybe I'm being a little bit dramatic. <laughs> college basketball and with college basketball just means longer travel times more time on the bus more time even on a plane just a lot more traveling which also means just packing a little bit more a little bit more essentials and for you especially who are going into college this might be helpful for you just a reminder of what to pack of things that you don't necessarily think about so we're not really going to be talking about like you know basketball shoes and your uniform and you know those types of things we're going to be talking about things that you might not think about until it's too late so the first thing i'm going to start off with is kind of simple but a snack okay if this is a lifesaver obviously your school is going to provide some sort of food for you after and before the games but if you're like me, who is hungry all the time, it's super nice to have a snack with you just to munch on before the game or something that you might like. Because who knows, if they give you something that you don't like and then you don't eat, it's not a good thing. So always have a snack with you. It's just good to have a backup. The second thing that I'm going to need you to invest in like right now is a portable charger. Like I said, sometimes you will be on the bus for a long period of time and... A lot of locker rooms that you go in will only have like one or two outlets and there's how many of you on a team, which is how many phones, how many chargers. So I'm sorry, not enough outlets to charge your phone. Even like funny story is in college, we used to switch during halftime. So like half of us would get the chargers for the first half. And then when we came in from the game at halftime, we'd switch our phones like super quick out with um, the other girls so that they could charge for um, the second half because sometimes we would have like four hour bus ride and you know when you're on your phone listening to music having your headphones or airpods in like your phone is going to lose battery the third item that i have on my list for must-haves in your basketball bag is honestly extra clothing <laughs> extra socks extra spandex extra sports bras whatever that is have extra a because I can't tell you how many times I forgot in a pair of socks or spandex or a sports bra and it's awful. Or you're like asking everybody on the team if they have an extra, all of that stuff. Or you have to go run back and get something. It's, it's not, fun. not fun. Or again, going along with kind of the theme of being a good teammate, if you have extra, you can loan to a teammate that might have forgotten. And it's just a lifesaver because I know if you forgot, you would want your teammate to help you out. So it's just nice to have extra. I mean... It's not much to pack in there. You can just roll it tightly in one of the little secret pocket pockets in your in your bag and boom, you're set. The fourth item that I have is something that you probably don't think about, but you need, and that is face wash, lotion for your face, and chapstick. Okay, I cannot tell you the times I have most regretted out of not bringing anything, and maybe more than forgetting my shoes, is not having chapstick with me on a bus when it is cold after a game, after you just sweat and you might be dehydrated and your lips feel crusty. It's not fun. So I highly suggest going and purchasing one of those like packs of chapstick and keeping them in your bag because you don't, just don't forget chapstick. I don't know what it was like for you guys in high school, but for me, our schools were not very far apart i lived in a really big city so our schools were max 45 minutes away so i really didn't take showers after the game like i waited till i got home to do that but for college again like i said you're gonna have bus rides that sometimes are gonna be four hours long and it's kind of just not a fun feeling to sit in that after game sweat 
on the bus for that long. So even if you were to forget like, you know, a towel and body wash and all of those things, the thing that will help you get through is bring face wash and face lotion. That way you're at least washing your face and feeling somewhat rejuvenated. And um, again, same with the chapstick, bring the face lotion because you're gonna feel dry and like scrunched up. <laughs> yeah, you, know, you know what I mean? After you do is like a really detoxifying cleanser and it's like tightens your skin. So bring this, it's, it's a lifesaver. The last item that I believe that you should have in your basketball bag, and honestly it was a holy grail item for me, is some sort of stick or foam roller. Okay, it was like a game changer for me because before, especially AAU tournaments, uh, or the AAU games, you're playing a lot, or like in college, like just prep, you know, you're sitting on the bus for a while, or you've been sitting in class for a long time, and you just want to feel really good, have one of these at hand, because it just fits in your bag, you can actually get them smaller than this one, this is actually like a medium sized one, so you can get them that are probably cut in half, I used to have it with me all the time in my bag, and I would just roll out before games, like literally a quick like two, three minutes, roll out, good to go, I feel good, especially when you're, again, sitting on a bus for a while, or you've been sitting in class, or you're in an AAU tournament and you've already played like two games and, and you're starting to feel that tightness. So those are just five must-have items for me in my basketball bag that you might not think about, like they're not really necessarily essential to the game, like your basketball shoes, your jersey, you know, a hair tie, like those types of things, these are things that will help you just in dire need situations, okay? Also, in case you didn't know, I do have a podcast called Us Girls Basketball Podcast, and me and my co-host Emma actually have a full episode on our five essential things that we keep in our basketball bag, and we just dive into different things. Emma brings a lot of cool suggestions as well, so I'll link that down below for you guys to watch, and also to comment down below what is essential to you? What do you have to have in your basketball bags? I'm curious because, you know, I'm a coach. I'm trying to gather like a bunch of things for my girls um, that they might not think about that I could be like, here, I got you, girl. So I'm really curious. Let me know what you guys think about that. Also, I would love to know what other type of videos you guys want to see like these, um, whether that's like five essentials of blank or again more recruiting videos coming soon as well as podcast videos if you guys have not checked those out leave them down below i would really be curious to see what you guys want to see what you want to know kind of all of that jazz thank you guys so much for watching this video make sure to like and subscribe and turn that notification bell on that way you are notified when these videos come out because i'm super pumped for all the content that is coming out soon because it's going to be fun, like a whole list. I'm pumped. Again, thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll see you next time.